What's up everybody? Frank Valkyria, welcome to the channel. You lovely human beings out there because yes, there are lovely human beings out there. But, but, by the way, still Italian edition, but out there there are some which they are not lovely people. And some of those not lovely people, we are going to talk about them today in this video. Look at this. Now the mainstream media, as usual, at least some of them, are just going nuts on these new documents because that's what they do. They just go nuts on Johnny Depp because they love to demean, to mock, to make him feel small and making fun of potentially something that could be serious. Anyway. Uh, some of the new documents, of course, part of the Unseal new trend, which is trending, by the way, on Twitter, everywhere. By the way, this is another document. This is not what I wanted to show you, but everything. No, also not this guy, honestly. Eh? Also not this guy. But if you see here, look at all the trends on the side. H deserves an apology. No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. Johnny Depp, a legend. Yes. Amber Heard the most? Yes. Uh, so, as you can see, there is a lot going on here. And uh, going back to those new unsealed documents, which uh, seems like that uh, AH lawyers wanted Johnny Depp to show his medical records, which uh, alleged uh, indicate that he had an erectile dysfunction. The 50 plus year old, probably at the time they were married, he was like 52, 53, 54, I don't know. Somewhere in their range, younger than now, duh, okay. So, um, as you all know now that we all have seen the trial, in that period, Johnny Depp had a lot of issues with, unfortunately, drinking and uh, medications also to get off other things. So he was monitored, monitored, by uh, by doctor and uh, um you know this new news now all of a sudden seems to uh bring new attention to this past his past relationship so as you can see here um in a newly unsealed document the lawyer argued that uh her lawyer argued that he had uh, an erectile dysfunction and uh, for them for her lawyer this was important because somehow would explain why he would use bottles to do all kinds of things, you know, that alleged the incident in Australia, the bottle that was even broken with wax around the rim, but for whatever reason, a bottle is magical that doesn't leave any scar and sign. Eh? It's the bottle of the elves that Johnny Depp took back from the ends of the word ends from Pirates of the Caribbean and is imbued with magical power then it can take a shape into a penis, a phallic tool that can be used for pleasure apparently but leaves no sign of mark. Uh, I Sorry, I had to, it's still early. My synopsis, they have to work harder to find the right words. Anyway, you got the point. It's absolutely BS that that even took place. And uh, here's the reply, of course. Um, find uh, the part of the article I wanted to share with you. This is the reply. I mean, sir, once a circus and clearly intend to take this trial down a number of necessarily salacious rabbit holes, including and especially with respect to Mr. Depp medical history. Attorney for the Pirates of Caribbean Stars wrote in a motion filed under seal March 22, as if to prove that she intended to take the low road at trial, Miss H included the inter interrogatory responses that Mr. Depp was taking erectile dysfunction medication and suggested it might somehow be a motivation for A, a booth, the previously confidential filing stated. Um, obviously, tactics, absolutely tactics. And you know what? It's hilarious about this, right? Because, of course, they're all tactics and they're all BS. And even if there was the case, right, first of all, probably has absolutely no connection with uh, with her, like, uh, at, you know, incidents, allegations. But the way the media is going about this, which is literally using headlines like Johnny Depp can get it up. And it's all over the place. Seriously, you, you just scroll here for a second and uh, you see, like, you know, those type of 
uh, yeah, articles and headlines, which uh, it's in part it's hilarious, which you see that um, can you imagine like always uh, flip the switch, always flip the switch. Think if people were making fun of somebody else's condition. You know, not reporting on it, not describing it, not talking about it, not like offering commentary, but mocking it, mocking it all the time with headlines. And this is exactly what they do with the guy. You know, the guy won, he had to prove himself in the court of law, is still being mocked by the mainstream media, allegedly on something that we don't know if it's real or not. But even if it was real that this man had dysfunction because perhaps of medication abuse or what he was going through. Honestly, if I was dealing with this woman for probably six months, my penis will go lean forever. You know what? My penis will call me and say, listen, I'm in holiday. Okay. See you. Bye bye. I'll see you next time. Turn whatever you want to do with it without me. Okay. So I not blame Johnny. I don't blame Johnny at all. But the fact that they're making fun of him constantly now, that uh, just tells you more about their motives, again, of the mainstream media, which they still try to destroy the image of a man by protecting, actually, an abuser. That's what it is at the end of the day. And that's why we are here. And you know what is funny? That immediately the, the weep of truth, which is not whipped cream, more like Indiana Jones weep, huh? bam, smashes you in the face. Because now you can see also the deposition of Jennifer Howell in the rebuttal, which um, in there she testifies that uh, Whitney, the sister of A.H., told Jennifer Howell uh, the whole event when it took place in Australia where she chopped up the finger of Johnny Depp. And uh, <clears throat> it's all here. And uh, let me see if I can find it uh, for a second. Um, here we go. Uh, speaking with that talk, I mean, I said I was sitting exactly where I'm sitting right now because I'm sitting at my desk in the office. So I was sitting right here on my computer, working in my zone, responding, doing whatever I was doing. And right over there, there were two black and white chairs at a time with a table in between. We were sitting in one of the black and white chairs. There's a door that goes out right over there as well. And she just screamed. She's done it now. She cut off his gut finger and made it this huge proclamation. And, and I pushed my chair back. I was like, what? This is Jennifer Rowell, by the way. And she goes, she cut off his finger. She cut off his finger. And then she bolted out the door and was like, I got to call somebody. I got to call somebody. And she went out the door and she called somebody, someone. I don't know who she called. That's what, what was said. When I asked if there was a speci uh, specified uh would uh, she and he were in the scenario all we responded to was amber and johnny and she apparently had thrown a bottle and cut off his finger is what she reported when she came back in from whoever she talked to outside so again of course people that saw the trial know this but now with all this document again released outside it's very uh, important that this gets shared again by all the others which they're misusing cherry picking headlines to make it look like uh, what it's not so it's fascinating it's beautiful you see like you get the headlines of the mainstream media trying to mock johnny trying to rewrite the narrative try to give a different impression but of course there's the counterbalance of actually testimony of people which um, they have proven in several occasions to, to seem pretty unbiased and straightforward lover of the truth. In this case, Jennifer Rowell, the head of uh, Heart of Elysium, which is a charitable, charitable organization that apparently AH has never given money to uh, because they were not as important as the hell CU will you, boo boo, the other organization. So, wow, what you make of this? I think the mainstream media, it's uh, sinking low, like AH was sinking low, by trying to basically um, intimidate Johnny Depp with perhaps medical conditions that he had, uh, to use it against him as an excuse for these old oaks. Likely we are here, you are here, and we keep spreading the truth 
And we're not going to give up. Those people, they just have to go to therapy because if there's somebody that has conditions, it's that person. And uh, with all our empathy and love, we just wish that somebody takes care of that person at age and perhaps tries to make it work, you know, to live her life without destroying somebody else. You know what I mean? Guys, please consider subscribing. Give me a like if you want to. Eh? Eh -eh. Now I'm going out to Sorrento for the coffee. Maybe I bring the camera with me because you make this happen. Take care. Always spread love.